Hey guys, Terrence and Paul here with another Let's Talk Reef. We're trying something new out here in the lobby, and we yep. can hear some echo back here, so it's evidently not doing what I had hoped it to do. So we're going to have to just live with it, Paul. Uh, we're going to have to live with the echo? Uh, I think so. I hope it's not coming through too bad on the uh, microphone, but Vincent can check that. But we're here in the second lobby. The second lobby. Correct. Okay. And we're here in Joe's Tank. We Joe's showed tank. Joe's Tank about a year ago when he was first starting it up. For those of you that don't know, this is, oh, sorry, this is Joe. Okay. He's an engineer. He's a, uh, so there's of the, Joe. Of the software engineer nature. And uh, so we thought we'd give it an update. Yeah. See how his corals are doing. Joe has made some changes to his tank recently a lot. He's always making changes. Joe is our resident tinker, which is kind of what I'd want from an engineer in the first place. And he's never satisfied. What's one of the things that I, I love about him, you know? So just in terms of having him as a team. He's member. always in there picking at something. Yes. He's always in there fiddling. He's the opposite of me. Right. When it comes to reef keeping. Once you are satisfied with something, you don't go back and think about it anymore. No, I put it in. I leave it in. I yeah. let it grow yeah. until it dies. Yes. yes. <laughs> and speaking of that, I have had some, you know, downsides lately. Paul, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I haven't been over to the house recently. I would um, be embarrassed if you did come over. Yeah, I'd I know. I'd be embarrassed if I had to show them. You've been telling me, you know, and I've been, I've been telling you. I had you the Bryopsis be come back. I killed the Bryopsis. With the flucon, did you do a flucon 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 all, yeah. again? Mm -hmm. And then I think my um, my uh, denitrator needs to be reworked. Okay. And with that, uh, my nitrates I think are up. I've got some stuff on the sand. Corals got unhappy. Then I had a clogged input for my calcium reactor. Oh man, really? My so alkalinity you're, you're... went up and down, and I couldn't figure out why. Mm -hmm. And so the end result is I lost a few corals. I woke up to that smell. And then? Well, they're still in there. And then? <laughs> Well, I fixed the problems and I moved on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what you, that's, that's all you can do. Um, you know the you know how I feel about denitrators in general, right? Like well, the denitrator I, wasn't the problem. I, I mean, you it, say it, that it wasn't the problem. It didn't but cause I think, the problem. My my lack of maintenance is what my lack of maintaining it is what because see I feed so much and I don't take that great a care of keeping down the things that will create the nitrates to go up because mm -hmm. I use that as a big a crutch. So, so it was your laziness. It was absolutely my laziness. <laughs> There's no doubt that it was lazy. No, no, no. Lars. The, 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 the proper way to frame that is, well, I was far too busy working uh, you know, for Neptune Systems. I got some great things planned for you guys. And that's where my focus was. That's certainly, that's that's, cer certainly that's one, one, way to, one way to frame it. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, we're here at Joe's Tank. He's got a lot of corals in here. He got a bunch of them from Unique Corals mm -hmm. about a year and a half ago when mm -hmm. we were out there. We brought some stuff back. Um, he's got a lot of stuff from friends. He buys a ton of corals from all these high-end coral outfits. Yep. So he's, they've got all these funky names and stuff. But recently he made a, a huge upgrade to his tank um, in, the, uh, in the lighting department. Mm -hmm. And it's just really, really made his tank come alive. It's about been two or three weeks now, right? I don't month? No, it's about a month. It's about a month. It's about a month Gosh, on this man. tank. It's, this month has just been flying I know. by, man. And, and, and the thing is, is that it's really already made some changes. Mm -hmm. And he was going, he was on T5 yep. before. And so he had a T5 Kessel uh, mm -hmm. combo. Um, he had a hybrid fixture um, before hybrid fixtures were cool. Um, and, right? I would yeah. Say so. And uh, he uh, had, been, had been running that for quite some time. He had like rocked his own hybrid fixture some time ago. And then right. uh, he did another one here with the Kessels. And, uh, and that's a great combo. I, I really mm -hmm. like that setup. Yeah. Um, so you can't really say too much you know, bad about that particular setup because it meets all of the requirements. I mean, BRS, you know, rakes, ranks that as one of the better mm -hmm. suggestions for people. And, and but you got to change out the bulbs. And, and it beca it's because it goes from end to end, right? right? You know, you, get the and you, full have, coverage. you have a full coverage look. Um, but these new lights, I mean, they, they they've, uh, you don't see Definitely a lot of shadows. <laughs> There's not any shadows. I mean, they're, I mean, he's gotten sprouts on some of these corals where they weren't sprouting before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the shaded um, spots. So Joe, so when Joe, Joe and I did the aqua, aquascape in here, um, you know, before, I guess, the, what do they call it? Negative? What is it called? Negative? Uh, oh, this is... Uh, Negative space Ryan's, aquascape? Yes. Yeah, so we, we, you know, that's something you and I have thought about for a long time. We've done stuff like you this know, for a long time. And <laughs> with the branch rock, especially. With the, we love the reef rock. Uh, the branch rock using the base rock mm -hmm. on top of that. I like that it gets purple right away. You know, it gives your tank a seasoned look. But then Joe's tank just grows coralline like crazy. Um, he's uh, hosting a bunch of corals right now for John. John's one of those guys who all... John's our support manager. And John loves to do the build. 
right? And so uh, he's housing some quarrels for John right now um, because John is switching his 65 gallon to just another 65 gallon that's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, and, and he loves rebuilding he it, redoing it, and doing it better. And he always perfects every time, you know? So, so hang on one second. So people say there's a little bit of lag. We're trying out something new here. It's a new feature with the software that we're using, using oh, interview no. mode. Um, so there's a little bit of lag on, I think, on my camera because there's probably so much information, you know, so much randomness in a in an aquarium mm -hmm. uh, with fish going by and me moving the camera that it's hard for it to do the you know the compression. Um, you know, it is a little bit blue right now. I don't know if that's because of uh, you know, I don't know my settings or what have you, but it definitely looks bluer down there, doesn't it? Than does it, it does. look okay on the stream? Looks very blue in the stream, huh? Yeah, it's weird. Interesting. Because it doesn't look blue on my on my camera. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, even this looks blue. Look at that. Do you have the camera? Uh, the look, camera's on. Look how blue we are. Weird. We're even blue. Why would it do that? That's bizarre. Oh no, that made it worse. That, that made it way worse. Way worse. I don't know. Well, we'll have to see when we uh, when we pop over to the next tank because that's definitely not a good look. No, no, no. And I don't know that I can do anything with that change there. Well. Anyway, so, you know, he's got a bunch of, uh, mm -hmm. oh, this is something maybe Vincent can do on the, uh, the tweak of the, no, yeah. on the tweak settings inside uh, the no, app. Yeah, he did. He, we probably was uh, making things a little bit darker earlier. Who knows? Um, but anyways, um, it's hard for you then to see this right now, isn't it? Yep. And it's weird because we're even super blue out here and we're under all the other lights. Lighting, yeah. So it's got, I'm, I'm using the new iPhone 12. Should be like the best camera you can get. Dude, the camera on there is pretty nice. Uh, but say that. if you I'm look over honest. there, you might even be able to see some of the Aptasia. <laughs> uh, lots of Aptasia. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't get a whole lot of uh, settings capability through the software to change the, the settings of the camera while I'm doing the live stream. So mm -hmm. kind of what I get is what I get. Maybe, maybe what I have to do is uh, try this again another time on, on this particular tank. But anyway, this is Joe's tank. You can see he's hosting a bunch of stuff for uh, for John, as we said, all these zoos. Mm -hmm. It's too bad because it looks really good. Didn't you get the orange? Yeah, get the orange filter, okay, but I don't think filter. it's that's not the issue. I don't think so either. Because we're even blue here. I think there's a, and that's a different camera over there. So anyway, you guys are free to uh, to ask all the questions you want. Okay. These are some some new lights that Joe's trying out, but it's uh, some of my camera's all jacked. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, this is the wrong one, huh? We'll take the little thing off the front of it. Let me just see. We'll have to come back and throw another camera on this live stream. Let's try that out. <laughs> one extreme to the other. Yes. <laughs> now we are in daylight. There we go. Well, that's a little that's bit a little better. Bit closer. It's still pretty daylight with that filter on. Yeah. And now let me try to maybe turn the lights off in here. Makes us super blue. Yeah, no kidding. It's hard for me to tell the. Focus in on that one. Look at that. That looks pretty. Ooh. All right. Big old Anyways, fat technical fingers. difficulties. Sorry, guys. We're, we're, we tried. But to when I previewed this, it worked. I know. We try to be as entertaining as possible. I know. And this happens. It's so unfortunate. Well, it's not too bad, but it's very. Uh, this is very Sanjay. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes. It does this is full on Sanjay. All right. Well, anyway, we also did uh, some other stuff on your tank. Why don't we go look at your tank, Paul? See if no, it's any different. It's any better than that. With or without that. So let's see. We're going to walk over here to Paul's tank, echo and all. Oh, yours looks blue right here when I'm well, in here. I can just uh, click a setting here on this light. Let's see. Let's see how things look. So this is, it's, it's winding down. I usually leave the office at about six. That's when I like my lights to come off. Um, oh, look. That looks, that looks pretty good. I don't know. You know, with me, with my color blindness. That's not too far off. Yeah. Let's see. What coral is that down there that I'm looking at? That is a coral I got a couple years ago. It had not grown at all until I changed over my lights. It's Pluto. 
Um, and uh, it, it's the first coral everyone asks me about now when they come to my office, right? They, they want to know about that coral because it's, it's really cool. It has this really yellow green look to it. It's got these purple tips to it. And this basing out that you see here on that, that's happened in literally probably the past month. Maybe right? two months, I Maybe think. Maybe two months. I think yeah, it's about two months. two months or so. Um, and you can see kind of all the, the, the nubbins coming off of it and things like that. Oh, and then right down here is a bower. Right. Now, that's looking super blue down there right now. Interesting. It's weird. It's, it's something to do with, the, I think, the compression of this software. Oh, I see. Yeah. I think that's what's messing with it because in the in the preview, it didn't do it. Right. Now that it's up. Now that but it's I think now live, that it's... Right. It's, it's somehow or another to do the compression, they're pulling out some of the color. So maybe the, uh, the Skype is a better option in the future for these sorts yeah, of Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go to that. that. Um, but, anyway, the um, tank is growing so really this, nice, Paul. This tank had um, you know, good light on it uh, uh, prior before I tuned it out. You're running a Radeon G4 before, right? Yeah, Radeon G4 Pro. Um, I was running close to an AB plus mode. You know, I kind of, uh, a little bit of variation. I like a little bit of tweak there. Um, and... Um, the tank has been set up since 2016. I didn't start putting coral into it until Q3 of um, probably um, 2017. Well, we've been following it for some time on, on you know, right. the show, so you can go back and look to see the progression right. of this tank because we've featured it a number of times. But I didn't start putting, I, you know me, I, I, I didn't do anything with this tank for months. You remember that? Right. Um, and it had a couple of uh, uh, starter issues like algae and things like that, like anyone can imagine. And it was doing great on the Radeon for uh, so long, but then once all these top colonies up here started growing in, um, really full, Terrence is, mm -hmm. uh, is focused in on some of the Sorry. stuff right now, but these coral, these uh, colonies that were growing in there, they were just shading so much, right? And I have a lot of coral growth over here, like on the edges. I'll, uh, Terrence, you want to take your phone real quick? I can show you. Mm -hmm. so, you want this, the, yeah, this yeah. thing too? Mm -hmm. Sure, I got my fingerprints that, all over it. Uh, that, um, I have, uh, you know, a lot of aqua colonies. That's because of your, your mic. Ah, okay. So this is interesting. Yeah, the, the, um, <laughs> the iPhone 12 is, I guess, putting out a lot of stuff. Yeah, so, um, you know, a lot of corals and things like that that were down here and completely getting shaded out um, uh, by the stuff at the top. Well, they, yeah, that's the thing. When it started out with the G4, it, it worked great. Everything looked great. Um, but as soon as you started to fill out with these corals, the stuff in the back everywhere just started to get not as much light as they needed to get. Yeah. And so you started to get really weird growth, too. I started getting really strange growth, right? I mean, this is a per the, the Pluto that you were looking at down low was a perfect uh, example of a coral that just wasn't doing anything. Um, my, I'm getting a lot more algae on the bottom parts of my glass now on this, with this new light. Um, just that, that's telling me that I'm getting more light penetration down to the bottom. Yeah, well, I mean, just down here. I mean, look, we're underneath this Monty down here, mm -hmm. and there's light yes. underneath the shelf of that Monty. Right, right, right. Um, and no supplementation. It's just all LED that we got up there. Um, it, it looks, I can make it super blue, all, this, all that kind of stuff. This Scully has just been doing great since I put it down there. You can see it's entirely shaded I'll pull this off, this. and then you can see... It's entirely shaded out by this acro right above it. This is the purple ball of Masuda that I got from you. I love it. Such acro. a great coral. Um, it's it, it's just straight up white most of the time, um, but it, uh, when it's growing, um, it those gets purple kind of green. tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was completely shaded out. I had a and a Fabio over on the side um, that was also completely shaded out, but now it's been growing like crazy since. Uh, up there by the overflow, somebody said something. I don't know what's up by the overflow. Uh, that's a garth, I think, or something. Um, I don't know the names of any of these things, guys. Um, I don't know. You got a Disney here that that's yeah. kind of weird, and yeah. then you've got some other one, an ORA something or other in the back. That's, I got Spongodies. that from Joe. I got that. That's the Australian one I got from Joe a couple weeks ago. Okay. Uh, a couple months ago, right? Um, and then we got this huge Spongodies, not Spongodies. And this is a. Uh, that's well, a pearlberry. Pearlberry. I just lost a 10 to 12 inch colony of that. Can, there's a there's another piece you gave me right over there. So yeah. the monitor, but right. the good part is, is my backup colony is about eight or nine inches, so I'm not really that worried. Right, right. Because uh, uh, I don't frag that one. 
So, well, it's looking great, Paul. Anything else that you can tell people that you're doing in here that's unique? Um, one of the really things I always like to bring up to people is this is, uh, I don't know, what is it, a 40-gallon tank? Or? This is the Reefer 170. It's a 34-gallon aquarium. Right. Um, I run a wave on it, and that wave will, in pulse mode gets up to about 50% or so. Um, it's usually around 10 to 15% in terms of intensity. You'll notice the positioning of it, and um, I saw a thread that comes up every now and then when I talk about wave placement, um, when I initially placed this wave and why it works. Uh, it, it hits the side glass and just kind of creates this great gyre in the tank. It's uh, in great need of getting cleaned right now. I have to slowly eke it up over time, right, as it gets dirty. Mm -hmm. um, but um, right now it's in clean. It definitely needs to be I like that spotted coral right there. See, my colorblind a, eyes make that look like it's red, but it, maybe it's it not is red. red. So is that's, it? That's a war, that's a, a Favity world coral. Very cool. Um, it's a, it's it's great. And again, look at that. Completely under a piece of branch and getting all the light it needs, and even plating down onto onto the rock. Yeah, very cool. So. Yeah, you can really see where there's not a lot of shadowing going on in this tank now. And it's edge to edge, one light, you know. So. Very cool. And not T5s, they're actually LEDs. Cool. Uh, you, you don't see any of the any of the color. You know, even if you look underneath, like some of the some of the corals mm -hmm. and like the color patterning, you don't see. Yeah, any, there's no disco. Any disco or anything like that. It's Nothing. Got a, just it's got a little bit of shimmer. You can see it on that cap right there. Is that coming through? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you can see the shimmer on the cap. Yeah. It's been uh, yeah, it's been it's been, it's it's been a nice upgrade. But it's definitely uh, it's definitely an upgrade. I mean, the G4 was a great light, um, but I think it's just it, when you want to start growing out some of these corals, at some point, you just can't get the coverage because of the cone of light. Yeah. How, does, how blue does it look now? Let's see here. <laughs> Super blue. Super blue. Oh, that mic thing. <laughs> I know. All right. Yeah, well. Put it back into normal mode. Well, the tank is looking good, Paul. I'm really liking the, the upgraded lights. You've had them for, I don't know, two or three months now? Yeah. Over the tank? Yeah, they've been over the tank now. And really looking really good. Alkalinity uptake has been gone through the roof. I'm kind of trying to get that stable out right now because I keep bumping it up, bumping it up, and it's just not enough to keep up with the amount of growth that's happening. Right now. Yeah, we're going to have to throw on another, uh, another video of this with Skype or something like that yeah. uh, in the not-too-distant future. Maybe we'll do an impromptu one in the next few days. Sounds good. Uh, to let everybody kind of see it better, because I think this, uh, for whatever reason, this is just uh, taking the color the wrong way with the, the app. The app is really messing with it. Plus, I'm getting that feedback. All right. All right. Let's head on over to the studio and uh, take some questions, man. Yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of, uh, bunch of questions. I'd love to. So, all right. We're still we're heading our way over there, guys. Got to turn this guy off somehow or another. Hopefully it's off now. I'll just throw it in my office to hear it. <laughs> After you did, sir. Yeah. All right. And here uh, we are. Home sweet home. Back into the studio. So, home sweet home. yeah, there's something. So this is new software. So we use a piece of software called Ecamm Live. It's great. And it's awesome software. Um, we're not hearing Paul. Paul is muted. Oh. How about that? So, uh, so it's called Ecamm Live. It's a really good piece of software for doing all these live streams and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've used it for three years now. And it's going to be, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's become, I should say, one of the best live streaming softwares that you can use dollar for dollar now. And there's a, there's a lot of things that we do like that, right? You know, where we start, um, you know, very much like ourselves. We like innovators mm -hmm. and things like that. And those Ecamm guys, when you first brought that to me, right, and we in the first live stream and how we were going to do it, and you had to, like your control hub, oh, yeah. right? I was just blown away, right? And you, how you've grown with them and things like that. There's some funny stories there. <laughs> yes. um, same thing with our help desk software, right? You know, like those guys were just got in off. early. We yeah. got in early, and uh, they keep taking care of us because we were early adopters. Yeah, and so, so th this this new interview mode is still in beta, mm -hmm. so I probably shouldn't have tried it, but yeah. um, but it was so cool that I wanted to give it a shot. <laughs> and Skype uh, is usually how we bring in the remote cameras and whatnot, but it can be a total resource hog. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm anxious to, to hopefully get the interview mode the way it should be. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to give them feedback. Yeah, <laughs> it, you... I always do. So it gets better that way. Right. So I saw a few questions roll up. Uh, first of all, you know, to address uh, the reagent thing, 
So oh, okay. Reagent yeah. is out there, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we are shipping a mm -hmm. heck of a lot of reagents, guys. A heck of a lot. Right. Um, and um, the numbers on reagents are it's it's staggering. Right, the, what our what our production team is outputting, we're it's staggering what we're shipping, sending stuff out the door like crazy, and the, the you know the reef keepers are are buying it like crazy. Exactly, and uh, you know um, uh, we kind of knew this was coming. I think when we announced the six month reagent last live stream, right, mm -hmm. we said, guys, it's going to be there, and then it's going to be gone. It's yeah. going to be there, and then it's going to be gone. And so it's um, a continual thing. So you're going to see it uh, because again, it's the number of seats, right? Right. You know, so the number of seats, and basically anyone who runs a Trident wants a six month reagent, right? Well, they, at least yeah. that's what they've been telling us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> For uh, the longest time. So there's a lot of seats to fill. Um, it would have been really nice if it had always been available. We weren't with this sudden onslaught, but this is the uh, the COVID hand we were dealt. You know. You so, know, and well, I mean, we had to keep the two month ones rolling. The two months were very important. So. Yeah. Yeah. I know we had a couple other questions on there, Vincent. Uh, you want to scroll that back for me so I can see a couple of them? Because I know I saw a couple roll through that I wanted to address. I, I would do it myself, okay? But uh, That's a new feature you're looking yeah, for, Yeah, I right? need to, to wave my hand and have them roll down or have something here that I can basically do it. Um, yeah, what's the issue with the cam? Blah, blah, blah. A lot of Greg Carroll. Um, <laughs> um this Paul's tank. Yes, there was something else. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, stop. So, uh, eighteen month thing. We're working on it. Oh, okay. So for the Trident. Trident service. Yes. Um, so. Uh, I'll make this an announcement for an announcement for an announcement, maybe. Yeah, that's uh, in broad know, terms, at least you know, the question's been asked. Right. right? So, um, th so when we released the Trident, right, we um, believed that there was going to be a service interval on parts mm -hmm. on the Trident. Um, we did our best to estimate what that service interval might be. Okay? Right. And, you know, we, based on what we had seen from units that had been working in Neptune Systems for over a year, right, um, you know, at the typical, you know... Uh, well, we didn't know. Out of the gate, we didn't We yeah. didn't know. We could only make guesses based on individual components how things would uh, would wear, what the wear and tear would be like. Exactly. And, uh, and so, you know, now that 18 months is basically we're there, mm -hmm. uh, now we're seeing that we're not getting a lot of the wear and tear that we thought we might be getting by now. Is yes, that it? exactly. So we didn't, you know, the, the parts that we were expecting to wear out, they, they're at 18 months, they're not showing the wear, right? right. And um, the, the, you know, my Trident is probably the most consistent running Trident in the uh, office now, mm -hmm. right? In terms of never being, never trying to mess with it or anything like that. I do run in a by eight schedule, right? So I don't run a by four schedule, I run a by right. eight schedule. And um, by eight schedule, that means it's basically as twice as long, right? Right. And so we are well past that 18 to 24 months, and I have yet to see anything where I would necessarily uh, require a service pack. Have but some people, I mean, some people are going to have issues at yeah. some point, and, and we are we are definitely addressing it, and you're definitely working on stuff, and there will be at some point in the very new future, an announcement about how this whole thing's going to work. Exactly. And, uh, you know, at least setting when we're going to make all the information public, mm -hmm. you know, all that all that information. There's going to be an NSI associated around with it, um, you know, kind of okay. seeing how it works uh, with our NSI people, and then we'll open it up. I don't want to, you know, nail down a date right now of when you're going to be able to service your Trident and how that's going to work. But... One of the things I, I would like to bring up, though, is you should not do any kind of quote, regular maintenance that somebody on the internet forums or whatever has told you to do because they thought it was a good idea or maybe they were instructed to do something from support for a very specific issue that they may have had that may not be the same as you. It's kind of like going to the doctor and, you know, what they tell one person you can't apply it to the next person directly or you might have issues. Right. You know, so we're taking, when we make recommendations, right, whether, um, you know, you left your Trident, you know, uh, in a situation where, um, you know, it didn't run for two weeks, mm -hmm. right? What happens there is the water stays in the system, right? Because we're typically purging that every six hours. You know, things happen. We have to make right. recommendations to make, to get it working again for you. Um, some people have really dirty water. Right? right, and we have to make recommendations on what we have to do to make sure to keep your trident working the way that you would expect mm -hmm. it to, um, and uh, those recommendations should only come from support. Well, like right? one of the ones that comes up, and I know that um, that Derek at Reef Automation actually did this. Um, you know, he 
had a video on how to clean your cuvette. He did. Which, you know, is fine, except there's a lot of people who will think this is something they should go out and do just for the heck of it. Right. And there are a lot of examples in various things that you own that you should not go and try to do maintenance on them before the time they need maintenance. You shouldn't go out to your car nowadays, which doesn't well, need spark plugs changed like, until 100,000 miles and go out and pull all the plugs, regap them, and, you know, and, and throw them into a spark plug cleaner exactly. just because you can. Exactly. You know, you want to get those from the manufacturer and our support team is very happy to assist you in making those recommendations if we feel it's necessary um, as of, you know, and we deal with each situation case by case. I think anyone who's yeah. had a, had an interaction with our support team regarding the Trident would say it's been a very positive uh, interaction. And I'm not saying that that Derek's video is wrong. I'm just saying that it should. should... <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty good. There are some things that uh, there were some parts on it that I would have done differently. Right. But that's okay. Right. And there's a lot of things that, that, that you, they'll see when they see the stuff comes out from you that it's, it, there, if you're really precise on things, then there are other things sometimes that it, they exist a certain way. A perfect example, because this is a, an example that I like, is if you have a tape measure, mm -hmm. have you ever noticed the end of the tape measure is loose? I've noticed that. Okay. Do you know why that is? Yes, because you've told me. Okay. You can tell me again. <laughs> I told you the story? Yes, go okay. on. I, I, so a lot of people of don't years. know, okay, that... Um, you, you, that end of the tape measure is loose because sometimes you're measuring against a wall and it has to take into the thickness of the end of the tape measure. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you're pulling against something and so it has to have the gap there. So there's, that slop in there is intentional. And, uh, and yeah, when I was younger with my dad, I'm like, this thing is loose. I'm going to take a hammer to it and fix it. <laughs> and he's like, no, you're not. And so a lot of times stuff that you see that seems like it is wrong or not, mm -hmm. it, it, it can be designed a certain way. And there are certain things inside the Trident that are like that. Yes. So um, uh, uh, with caution, and I recommend that you reach out to our support team mm -hmm. uh, if you do feel that your Trident is not working the way that you expect it to work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have any other good questions up there? So I see a lot of chit chat back and forth, okay. So, two, 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 two. I saw some, there's a frag swap this weekend? Uh, the maintenance, okay, here's a good question from Oscar. Oscar says, how can I do the maintenance on it myself? We'll go into that at a later date. Um, but a lot of work has been done so that we give options to our customers. That will be reviewed at a later date. And one of those is the ability for you to do it yourself if you'd like to. And Jeff Jerry, absolutely right. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. Um, Thank you, in, Jeff. In terms of what needs to be done. Man after my own heart right there. Yes. You, and, and Paul is putting a ton of work into this, so just be patient. Mm -hmm. And if you have an issue with your Trident, uh, just contact support. That's the best thing about that. Any other good questions from you guys out What's there? What's up, John? Tara Reef, Delaware. So anyway, I mean, back to my aquarium at home, okay? Um, yeah, I woke up. I don't know. Have you ever, have you ever had that where you go... <laughs> You know, yeah. when you wake up and that sweet smell I've of walked in, I walked into many a homes. That not so sweet smell? Back in the day and known that smell. Yeah, you know. and, and so I woke up and I was like, oh, and I've been, the values have been going all over the place and mm -hmm. the value had dropped on my alkalinity and it's on the Trident and I should know better and I'm totally lazy and everything else. And so it, my alkalinity got down to like 6.2 or something like that. And then I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. I'll stick the two part back on there because I ran out of that. Because I usually have that as a backup, and I hadn't replaced that. So I'm horrible. Lazy. I'm, a, so I'm giving you guys the honest to God truth here. I mean, this is I mean, a I'm true to, reefer stuff, I'm right? I'm to talk. I'm to and, talk. And so then I went, no, but it gets better, right? So then I'm like, okay, I need to add some of this two parts. So I plug the thing back in. I put the tube down into the jug, right? Uh -huh. And I'm down there working on stuff down in the fish cave. And I'm like, I just need it to run right now. And so I hit it to on. And I'm like, <laughs> I already know where this this is going. I'm like, na, 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 na. I go back upstairs. I turn on NASCAR, right? And all of a sudden, it occurs to me. I'm like, oh, that's right. And I open up the thing, and there's like three giant bars on the dose. And I'm like, okay, how much just got dosed? Okay, about 900 mils. Okay. Okay. So um, <laughs> the you know so I, I'll, this is a great opportunity for you to talk about the dose. So but right? hold on. So okay. then I did the math real quick, uh -huh. like in my head. I'm like 600 gallons. And th th this is how much, and this, and I'm like, okay, it should go up about three and a half to four DKH. DKH. And so I hit the manual test on the Trident, right? Wait the does seven the double, minutes. Does the double test to be like, are you sure? <laughs> and wait seven minutes. It's not done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It comes back in like 15 minutes, and it was 
eight, I think, or ten point one. I can't remember because I had other well, stuff. But you did a bolus dose. But yes, but a, like a up two, by a two hour three and a half dose. dKH. So you know, when you turn the dose over two hours, when you turn the dose to manually on, it doesn't run continuously. It does have a timeout period. Um, John will. will uh, but it's you, definitely you, not yes. thirty minutes. It's got to be hours because it was on for hours. Mm. No, it, it runs for 30 minutes and then basically... I will show you the chart. It's what it shows on the chart, but it didn't run continuously during that time. It would have done more because it does 25 milliliters. It runs at a pace of 25 milliliters. Yeah, it goes off and on during yes, that time. Yes, yes, it goes off and on during I that meant time, it's right? virtually that way. Yes. But, but yeah, it was on, and uh, I mean, that's a lot of DKA. There is a there is a timeout period that it will turn off to let the motor cool down, but it's assuming that if you turn it on... But I thought afterward, like, maybe it would be cool to do a virtual outlet with a when statement, if you, you can needed do to that. do that, mm -hmm. and then if you, you know, if you turn it to auto, right, from off to auto on that, that virtual outlet, which yep. then had a certain timer on it, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so when your dose is running normally, it's running under a table schedule. So that's not actually an on state. Oh, okay. okay. So when you were to, if you were to physically turn it on, you say to yourself, you know, sometimes I need to do this because I have a really large aquarium and I need to, I don't want to sit here and. You but, uh, you know, but make a sit here for 10 minutes and turn right. it on and off and right. on and off. Um, you can create a situation of if this outlet is ever on for a period of more than X minutes, you know, can you turn notify me at least? Right, right, right? notify. And so uh, it could uh, start notifying. It, it could helped. even turn off the outlet as a result. It would have that. That's So the, what else we got here? The power of the win statement. Anything good, Vincent? Easy four question. Uh, why did you guys get rid of the high voltage four power outlet? We did not get rid of that. We do have the Energy Bar 4. I don't know what the stock level of that is out in so the world I, right now. I, it's, it's a lower uh, stocked item just because its demand is very low. It has right? 12 amps on outlet 3. It has three 8 amp, is three 8 amp outlets and one 12 amp outlet. It's right. rated for 15 amps overall. We have not gotten rid of the EB4. The right. EB4 is still offered. But in terms of its overall demand, it's not um, a super highly demanded product. And um, our production team is just cranking right now. And uh, that's just something, the lower priority items get pushed down on the production bill. Because, yep. you know, we build and assemble oh, all yeah. items it's... here in Morgan Hill, California. Yep. We have a full production staff that does all of those things. A lot of them. Uh, so Greg asked, what was the pH change? My normal pH during the day is somewhere, I believe, around 8.1. It went all the way up to 8.8, .8, I think, yeah. in the pH. <laughs> It was not a good time, and I was kind of sad for the next couple of days because every day there was something else that was kind of kicking off. Most of it I didn't care about, right? Some stags and other things that are in the back, and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, whatever. The pearl berries. And, and everything there. on the right, nothing got got messed with on mm -hmm. the ones on the right. Um, but the stuff on the left where it's really crowded, I think that because of the flow and mm -hmm. whatnot. And uh, and then the last day of the of the onslaught, like of the four day thing, was the pearl berry, and I was mm -hmm. just like, oh man. So I've been growing that like forever. Mm -hmm. So but that's the way it is. You know, somebody wants R two D two to come back. Okay. Oh, I found I, I did find a trident. <laughs> I found that... a trident from like the first week of production. We actually I I, I uh, made sure everything was still good with it, and that was the one we sent off because I found it in a, in a in a hole somewhere, let's say. And uh, when I first I plugged it, it in, oh, that sound it was so heartwarming. I asked for a special version of firmware so I could put that back on and. Engineering promptly told me no. No. Yeah, they, they, there, there was no give. There. I don't think we're going to have a toggle switch uh, for those that yeah. uh, that want it. I think that's not going to happen. Um, so, all right, God, you guys don't have any good questions yeah, today, man. A couple I mean, up there's there. a, only a couple of questions. Um, there must everybody must know how to run their Apex. Must know about everything that's that's happening. You know, um, can I use the dose with Trident controlled dosing? For calc. for calc wasser. Hmm. Mm. I suppose you could. I would also suppose that, but, like everything calc wasser, you'd want to do something with the pH as a safety level. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing about it is you're adding calc wasser to the tank typically as a top off, right? A lot um, of people are, but the people dose it now too. Do people they? are dosing, yes. I've always, I've always. Especially when they super saturate because, it. Because when, because so much can go wrong with calc wasser, I just, it's kind of one of those just things that I just. No, I'm not doing that, right? That's not a solution. As for an me. only method for doing your stuff, absolutely. As an augmentation to doing calcium reactor work, yes. it's, it's nice to have. And it then is, you absolutely. can do it on a drip, and it's probably a good way to go. I don't know that you want to run it through a, um, through a dose or not. I don't know that that would be 
I don't know. Uh, you, you could do it that way. Um, I would be more of a fan of uh, with a calcium reactor using a alkalinity supplement or something like that um, with a calcium supplement to do kind of the overdrive, mm -hmm. what we recommend with the Trident. Um, if your calc glosser is kind of your base, right, and that's sort of your base, then um, I, I would keep that in probably with your auto top off and use um, uh, another supplement to kind of do the overdrive. Well, the thing is, is the other supplements, especially the really good kind of two-part or three-part supplements, mm. are giving you so much more that you need in the tank as exactly, well. Yeah. That although the calc washer is going to give you your calcium and alkalinity like all in one, it seems like the dream mm -hmm. package. You know, it, it's not giving when you all you those use, elements, Yeah, when right? you use something, um, you know, like uh, like two little fishies sea balance, you're getting other stuff balanced in at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, well, anything you guys want to ask, Glenn, is okay. So, you know, uh, oh, here's a good one. Ryan Miller, there's a good question. Any update on Apex Control for the CJ Synchra SDC pumps? I do know that uh, more or less software has been completed. It's been confirmed. And uh, we are doing the final testing on a bunch of different pumps to see how different pumps will work under it and work the way that we expect them to. Uh, and then at some point we'll make an announcement when it's ready and uh, you know Steve Steve Berlin from CJ uh, and I will maybe we'll make a I'll have him on let's talk reef and we'll we'll talk about what it means for everybody and probably be able to have that talk you know in the next uh, well in weeks in a matter of weeks Derek I don't hate you no no way right there's, there's much love um, <laughs> well because of his video on clean yeah, I, I mean it, it was a good video I Dude, mean, it's I'm not, control I'm not, freak I'm not, I'm not gonna say it wasn't a good video I just only want people to be doing that if it's necessary. Right. Right. And just because it look the the cubette looks a little dirty doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be cleaned. Yeah. Right. I, I see this one from Aquaplex um, talking about the uh, Aquamax cone DC two skimmer. Is it safe for the energy bar? I really don't know who's giving you that information, but if it plugs into an outlet, you can plug it into the you know any outlet on the Apex so, so 832. A, a and DC two is just going to have a power supply. Right a, right, a DC power supply. That's fine to have on the Apex. You can turn those on and off, no problem. For zero to 10 volt control, I don't know if it has that, but I don't there'd know. be no reason why it couldn't be able to do that. Yeah, it should, um, should be fine. Uh, I'll take acro breeders. Um, so, we've been on the Apex now. How long was the Apex Classic out, Terrence? Let's, let's start there. Apex Classic came out in 2009. Yep. And it was replaced by the current Apex in 2016. So many years, yes. right? So if about uh, six and a half, seven years, seven years, and we continued to to make the classic for several Correct. years after that because everything that the classic could do, basically, the new system did mm -hmm. as well, or I should say that vice versa. So uh, I would have no concern with you making a purchase. You know? Yeah, it's it, it, we don't discuss anything that uh, you know is coming up. Uh, you know, so that's not really. There's no comment one way or the other. Yeah. It's no different on the Apex than it is on anything else that may or may not be speculated. So, um, will you guys allow entry for greater than five? I don't even know what that means. I think he's talking about the new Hannah checker. Yeah. yeah. Um, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's coming in fusion. I think it's already. Okay. I think. I think I already. That's already possible um, because it's in beta fusion right now. Okay. So it's on the next uh, production push. Uh, they, for them to be able to log it. That's, yes. why, that's why I was confused. I was like, what? I thought that was already done too. But so it must be in beta fusion right now, or they just recently pushed that production build. You mm -hmm. know, um, I should use the production app more often than use the beta app just so I can know these things. But yeah, um, for sure, <laughs> absolutely. So, other questions? Anything else for Paul and I? Uh, I have. An energy bar 832. Can I add a second one connected to the existing without connecting it to a power out? So you're talking about daisy chaining them together. Not mm -hmm. a good idea ever when you have any kind of a power strip to daisy chain them together. They're power, not intended for that. Power strips should always be plugged into wall outlets. They should not Correct. be plugged into extension cables. They should not be plugged into other power strips. Correct. They, you know, uh, essentially a power strip that it's designed to only be plugged into a wall outlet. Um, right. However, that may be. And there's another question about reef brights. Somebody asked about he wants to dim reef brights. That is possible. They are apex ready, and there is a, a dimming module that you need to buy in order to make them do that. It has two RJ45 connections on it. I actually have those mm -hmm. on my setup, and you plug it right into the zero to ten ports. 
Um, okay, so yeah, that's been that's a that we've beaten that. Be, yeah, with a, that that's be. a dead horse. Oh, I, I like that. I like that livestock question. Let's go. Let's okay. do that one. Good, because I don't know the answer to go it. Go up. 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 This is a dotty back question, I think. Terrence, yay or nay on a neon dotty back to tang dominated, two hundred and fifty gallon mixed drink. Hard to deny their prettiness. And a 250 gallon, if you have plenty of tangs, as long as the neon dotty back is added later. I'm not I don't even familiar big, with that, so I'm I don't happy see a you big, are. I don't see a big issue with them. In small tanks, if you add those guys early because of their hardiness and they are so pretty, mm -hmm. expect to always have challenges with them, right? They are incredibly territorial. I was going to say, aren't um, they like mean suckers? They, they are incredibly they territorial. They like hide in a hole and then when the fish swims by, they come out and nail them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're really pretty. Um, they're really hardy fish. I usually make sure that in my livestock um, selection, though, they're going to be at the end. I typically don't stock like fish like that anyways. I only want the real passive fish, so I never have to deal, deal with any husbandry issues. Yeah. Um, um, engineering did confirm that we'll be on the, the nitrate thing will be on the next push to uh, um, uh, next fusion update. And so. can I use a dose with an Apex Classic? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can use Please. a dose with an Apex Classic. Use Actually, two. the dose came around before the latest Apex. Another question, is the Trident noisy? No, the Trident is super quiet. You will hear a couple of little clicks you get these if you listen solenoid, to them. Little solenoids in there. They little clicks click, that click. you'll hear um, when it does go off. Again, it's four times a day in the basic, so it's you know only every six hours. Um, some people can hear a tiny bit of the pump running, right? If you have really super, super good hearing, you can hear that. But other you've than never that, been to any rock and roll shows, you might be able yeah, to hear the pump. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, so or that you're, high or you're under 30. noise, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh man! So I think we got went through just about everything, Paul. What else? Do we oh, what else do we have to talk about? So we also have Kessel stuff that's still being worked on. Okay. Yeah. So it's I, not ready yet, but that's another IOTA project that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I know on top of that, uh, an Abyss controllability through IOTA is also being worked on right oh, now. Great. Okay. So one of the things that always gets brought up uh, erroneously. Is that somehow or another we're some walled garden that you <laughs> can't control other products, which is really I, I, funny I, I, when we I, have a standard for controlling other products. I, I, yeah, I love the words that get put into our yeah. mouth, you know, of what we do and how we do it. And uh, well, and rumors. I mean, the, it's, the number of rumors that roll around every week on different things. I mean, I'm flattered to a certain degree that the things you need to make up, I, you know, but <laughs> it's 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 fine uh, at the same time. But we have an open protocol. We've yeah. had an open protocol with IOTA for a number of years. If you're a manufacturer that makes a device that is controlled over Wi-Fi, please reach out to us. Uh, we've made other manufacturers' mm -hmm. equipment uh, controllable. We have made com products that we also make. Yep. Great example is the CJ pump that's coming. Yep. We make a return pump. They make a return pump. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to control that return pump yep. with our product. So, yep, absolutely. Um, that's uh, well, that, that, that's how it works. <laughs> Love some of the comments coming in, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it is, it's a, it, sometimes the reef keeping scene is like a rumor mill, man. It, it is. There are some people out there, I think, that drama, just man. They live really, on the they drama. They live on it. I, I don't, I don't. I, I just want to have like corals and, you know. We are hobbyists, right? <laughs> and so, you know, how did you get involved with this company, uh, right? Yeah, have we exactly. Had that, have, we had that, have we had that conversation before? We have. Yeah. You got involved with this product, com this, uh, this company, because you wanted an automation controller for your aquarium. Right. I got involved with this company for much of the same reason, right? I, I you know, wanted to work in this industry and I have keep, kept aquariums for years and here I am. Now loving keeping aquariums and working at a company but it that is, does that. But it is funny because you go out to Reef to Reef or even on some of the Facebook groups and you're like, don't you just want to go look at your fish and like frag up some corals and have a good time? I mean, how is this part of the fun of the reef keeping? It's, it's like reading, some of these people read tea leaves, I guess. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's like sure. they see like this happening and this happening and oh, this must be the reason. So Oscar yes. Vasquez says, do I need a dimmer for each Reef Bright? I believe one of them does two lights. It does. Um, They're and fairly certain. And uh, it has one RJ45, or maybe it has two. I can't remember completely off the top of my head, but you can certainly contact Tulio over there at Reef Bright, and he'll help you out Yep, uh, for sure. Um, how many doses can be controlled through the Trident controlled dosing? How many? Uh, I mean, so uh, on Trident controlled dosing, right, it's going to be controlled to alkalinity calcium magnesium. Right, mm -hmm. you can set up as many pumps as you want to control to that alkalinity calcium. Magnesium and you can control, yeah, and you can. So control. for some reason, if for some reason you wanted to have two dose dose in your alkalinity, they could both be controlled to that alkalinity right. number. Right, um, the number of dose that you can add to an apex system is a lot. 
I've, no, I've, I've yet to have anyone max that out or challenge me on it. Go ahead. You can purchase as many doses you want. And, you know, at the I think somebody's going to get a little like, <laughs> you know, that's that fine. Statement. That's fine. You know, and we'll, we'll I, figure I, it out. I will back you up, though. If, if, if you do want to put a, if you want to go out and buy like 40, 50 doses. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Put them on. And if it doesn't work, you know, then <laughs> we'll find a solution. We'll for find you, a don't. solution and you can buy 40 more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Anything else? Oh, we got an, a Reef Automation $10 super chat from Derek. Thank you, Derek, so much for uh, supporting the manufacturers uh, uh let's talk reef here we have to pull all these together and do something with them for sure we appreciate um, that have a customer uh, appreciation let's talk reef uh one of the other things too i wanted to bring up paul is there's an awesome uh, uh, customer appreciation thing going on right now at brs at brs Ball reef supply so yesterday they gave away twenty thousand dollars in gift certificates just started chucking them into boxes is nuts. It was nuts. And a bunch I, of other stuff. Today yeah. they gave away twenty thousand dollars in salt, which is what I mean. I don't know. Is it sixty bucks a, a bucket for salt or something? So I don't that's, know. What is that? That's a three hundred three hundred buckets of salt that they gave away. That's a they lot do the of math salt. for three thousand. I can't a, even. That's do a math. lot of salt. Three three hundred. That's a lot of salt. So yeah. So and they're doing stuff all week. So you should pay attention there because they're having some really cool stuff. I can't speak about any of it because I'm, I'm zip. But all I can say is if you are a control freak, if you're watching this uh, live stream right now, you might want to tune in at 9 a.m. tomorrow on to BRS. Um, because they're doing, and by the way, they're doing all of this, like from what I hear, out of their pocket. Uh, customer appreciation sponsored by BRS. Ryan wanted to right? give back to everybody, all of his customers, everything. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, Jake Speed says, Terrence, where is the wave cleaning video you did? Which one is that, Paul? Do you remember which one that uh, is? That was the one you did where you um, uh, had the vinegar or the citrus acid. Citrus, citrus In the bucket. Acid, I know I've done it a couple of times, I, th I think. You did it well I, over at your house, too. At my house, I think I did it, too, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think you did it. You, citric you acid. You did it at our last uh, Black Friday, I think, talk. Mm -hmm. When you and I were talking about Black Friday last year, um, you did it then. So, mm -hmm. um, I, for sure, you talked about cleaning your waves at that time, and I think you've done it since then as well. So, okay, yeah, it's nine a.m. Central Standard Time on the uh, on the BRS thing. There's lots of stuff coming up, a lot of stuff that I know of that's coming up with special kind of events and things that are happening with all the big uh, e-tailers. So, I know there's stuff that uh, that uh, Saltwater Aquarium. Uh, is doing mm -hmm. uh, to appreciate their customers and some of their sales and specials and stuff. So there's some really good stuff coming out uh, that these guys are putting together for all the reef keepers for sure. Um, da, 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 da. Man, some of these guys, they write the paragraph, don't they? You know, Emmanuel, I, I wish I could just sit up here and kind of go, okay, hang on a second, Emmanuel. Let me take that all in. But uh, something about the dose and uh, I don't know, air or something. Guess. Yeah, it's about the John. So there's a fix uh, a mod out there. You can mm -hmm. put John Guest fittings on the uh, to replace the compression fittings. Mm -hmm. um, uh, typically, I find that um, people that don't use the Neptune Systems dose tubing, um, mm -hmm. it's a real thick walled tubing that works very well with our compression fittings. Um, uh, sometimes, well, well, people that don't use that tubing need to find another solution, right? Right. Um, the compression fitting should still work. Uh, the hard RO tubing, I find always to be a little bit problematic with I that. use it, and it, and, you know, and it works for me yeah. with, with mine. It's but all a matter, you just have to make that seal, right? But so you, you air gets the seal, pulled, and um, you got to be careful because if you push too hard on those you'll, little you'll break nipples, you'll break them off. Yeah. So. Um, there is a mod out there. There's no problem with doing that mod. Uh, the dose heads are $30 if you mess the mod up. Um, and so we've need, got a $5 super sticker. And because our software doesn't show the actual sticker, it describes what the sticker is. It says a pair character stretching his arm forward, raising his thumb up. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> so thank you for that into reefing. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, enjoy having the ability to give Q&A to you guys here and, you know, always suggest things that you want us to do on the show. Mm -hmm. um, we're not doing a Randy thing this week because Randy took some time off uh, for family. Good. Uh, and, uh, and so skipped, I think, a week on the, on the Neptune videos. Probably set up um, an aquarium or but, something. Yeah, for a family off. member. Right. <laughs> That's what I heard. But, but, uh, but I think next week he's going to kick him back on again. I don't know what the topic is going to be, but definitely go and subscribe to those if, you're, if you want to find out really cool stuff about how to master your apex. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm I, just like reading all the I comments. I know. It's just all sorts know, of stuff of coming them, through. Some of them I'm like, I don't know what to do. So. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to close it down, Paul. It's okay. okay. We do a lot of long ones. We can do a kind of a short one. We're at about uh, 50 minutes right now. And I think what we're going to do is do another short live stream maybe over the next uh, few days. Using Skype or something like Using that. Using Skype yeah. or something else or maybe straight out of the camera. Um, uh, what are you trying to do? The Star Trek thing on me here, buddy? I mean, it was like I thought I was going away like I was on Star Trek. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a green screen. Um, yeah, but to summarize, reagents will be out there. Go to your local fish mm -hmm. stores, okay? Like, encourage your local There's fish stores. There's a lot stores. of them out there in the continue, local fish stores. Continue uh, to go out and support your local fish stores mm -hmm. as much as possible. Um, I find that, you know, most of the comments I'm seeing is I walked into my local fish store and there it was, the reagents. Right. So um, make that trip if you have a local ne Neptune dealer, you know, and, um, and uh, otherwise you're going to see them online. And then they're going to go. Reagent 2s. Yeah, will... it's going to come in and out, in and yeah, out, in and out, so. for sure. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. In two weeks, we'll have another one. We'll probably have another impromptu live stream. So, you know, make sure that you, you know, push the subscribe and the bell and everything else on Facebook or YouTube, whichever one is that you use, uh, so that you'll be sure to catch us live and ask us questions. And sometimes we give stuff away. Yeah, sometimes. So, all right. Until next time. Thanks, guys. See you later. Enjoy those fish.